certain family members believe that somehow you're involved with your husband's murder. And the results for Amber's lie detector test. Three gunmen just came in. I just started screaming, kept screaming, 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 and then finally one of them took me to the kitchen with a gun to the back of my head, and the other two was in with my husband. They just kept demanding money, demanding money, and then I heard a gunshot. After the gunshot, the guy scattered, and I didn't know what to do. I immediately ran into the living room. When I looked down, he was in a pool of blood, and I just, held them and called 911. Code six. Yvette, first, let me say that I'm really sorry for the loss of your brother. That's a terrible thing that happened to him not even a month ago. Yes, um, thank you. What, what was posted uh, a week before your brother was murdered? For starters, it was a joke. It was meant to be a joke. It was a posting of a picture of large amounts of cash, or at least what appeared to be large amounts of cash. Right. But it wasn't actually what it appears to be. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. It was ones, one dollar bills with like maybe a 20 on the top or a 20 on the bottom, or however it was all set up. And then there was a caption that said, I misplaced $60,000. I hope my wife is not out shopping. Something like that, right. something like that, yeah. So now you get this phone call, you know, saying that your brother was shot. Yes. Uh, what did you do then? I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital immediately. So they said to me, the chaplain's going to come out and speak to you. Yeah, immediately That's, I'm like... I mean, you know, something's bad at that point. Exactly. Exactly. So when, when you got to the hospital, was Amber, his wife, was she there? Amber was with the police. Right. She was at the police station right. with the detectives. Uh, and so from what I understand, you believe that she keeps changing her story, right? No, I don't believe that she keeps changing her story. She keeps changing her oh, story. She She's does. constantly changing right. her story. Somebody in the family believes that she might even have an affair with one of the gunmen. This is what we were told. What happened that night that your husband was murdered? We was getting ready to lay down. I was getting ready to lock the door. And the door, like, opened. So I'm looking, and I was getting ready to get up to go close it, but I seen that half a shoulder, and then I heard whispering. And then they, all three of them just came in, all three of them had guns. When they first came in, I was scared. We were both scared. But he kept calling them, bro, like, who are you? And they, when they came in, they kept asking for money, demanding money, demanding money. And both of us kept saying, we don't have no money, we don't have no money. And my husband said, you picked the poorest house on the block to rob, and we don't have no money. What you want, check my pockets, bro? He kept calling them, bro, as if he knew who they were. And I just kept screaming, screaming, screaming. And one of them took me to the back. Did you tell the detectives that you believed that you knew who two of the men were? Yes, just by their eyes and his voice. How is it for you that the family, certain family members, believe that somehow you're involved with your husband's murder? I don't know why they would think that I'm involved. We've been together for almost five years. If I, if I really was a bad person and wanted something to happen to him, I would have did it a long time ago. That's just a odd thing to say. Your story has changed. We watched that film. You changed your story from the first time now to this time. That's why I don't believe that you don't have nothing to do with this. Everybody wants to believe you had nothing to do with it. You know that me and you talk exactly. about it. I talked to them. I tried to help everyone understand. It's not that we believe you had something to do with it. It's doubt. Amber came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you participate in any way in the robbery or murder of your husband? And she answered no. 
Did you know that your husband would be killed that night? She answered no. And the results for Amber's lie detector test. And then it came back that she told the truth. I hope this helps your family. They wanted the truth. If you know the guy's names, if you think, even if you have suspicion, cooperate with the police, tell them the names that you know, and hopefully these guys that killed your husband can be brought to justice, okay? Good luck to you.